Enter your name. In the Jeopardy round, one daily double will appear in one of these categories. And we're going to be dealing with world facts, okay, poets and poetry, okay, cotton, historic figures, cliches, and finally, Ancient Greek science. All right, I'll start there. Contestant number one, for $100. Demo Democritus proposed all matters made up of these from a Greek word for indivisible. Contestant number one. You'll have 60 seconds to provide your response. Yes, select again. $200. Here is the clue. This rock tosser was devised by workers under orders from Dionysius to come up with new weapons. Contestant number one. What is a catapult? Yes. I'll take uh, ancient uh, Greek science computer, please. For $300. In creating the first star map, Hipp Hipparchus Hipparchus came up with this system of lines now used on Earth maps. Contestant number one. What are la longitude and latitude?
Good job. All right. Let's take 400, please. For $400. Let's take a look at the answer. Yes, let's. He figured out his theory on fluid displacement in a public bath about 260 BC. Contestant number one. Yes. Select again. Let's close it out. For five hundred dollars. Here is the clue. This Elements author is considered the most famous mathematician of all time. Contestant number one. Hey, Tiger. You wanna watch me play? Who is Euclid? Uh-huh. Yes. Select again. Or one hundred dollars. To be under this digit is to be under someone else's power. Contestant number one. What is under one's thumb? Good job. Right. For two hundred. For two hundred dollars. Here is the clue. If you're pushing up daisies, you're not arranging flowers, you're dead. Contestant number one. What is dead? Yes, that's All correct. Right. Uh, for 300, please. For $300, the answer is... If someone looks innocent but probably isn't, you would say what, you'd say this wouldn't melt in his mouth. <laughs> Contestant number one. What is butter? Right. This is 400. For $400, here is the clue. To put one of these among the pigeons means to stir up trouble. Contestant number one. What is a cat? Yes. There we go. Uh, show some powder, please. For five hundred dollars. Answer. The phrase about an iron hand in one of these may have originated with Napoleon. Contestant number one. What is a velvet glove? Correct. A clue? It's the Daily Double. I like to make it a true Daily Double. How much would you like to bet? $3,000. The answer there is... 1492, he reported cotton growing in the Bahamas. It's just for Columbus. Good job. All right. Cotton for 200 For $200. Eli Whitney's cotton gin made it easier and cheaper to remove these from cotton fibers. Contestant number one. What are seeds? Correct. For $300. Oh, 300, yep. This Tennessee city on the Mississippi has the world's
world's largest spot cotton market. Contestant number one. What is Memphis? Correct. Uh huh. Cotton for four hundred. For four hundred dollars. This process using caustic soda adds durability and luster to cotton fabrics. Contestant number one. What is mercerization? Mercerization. No. Sorry, incorrect. Anyone else? Contestant number two. Not mercerization? Mercerization. Correct. With a Z instead of an S. All right. Good thing the Daily Double wasn't that close. It's all good. It's all good. Okay, moving on. For five hundred dollars, let's take a look at the answer. Her husband became a viscount in nineteen nineteen, so she ran for his seat in the House of Commons and won. Contestant number one. Who is Lady Astor? Good job. Okay. For one hundred dollars. Liu Liu Hang, a man of humble birth, founded this country's Han Dynasty, circa 202 BC. Contestant number one. What is China? Correct. Here we go. Uh, historic uh, historical figures for two hundred. For two hundred dollars. Only the core of this 13th century conqueror's army consisted of Mongols. Contestant number one. Who is Genghis Khan? Yes, that's correct. Okay. I'll take 300 please, same category. For $300, here is the clue. Weizaro Minin, a great-granddaughter of Emperor Menelik II, was the wife of this Ethiopian Contestant emperor, number one. Who is Haile Selassie? Good job. Okay, um, 400, same category. For $400. In August 1483, he was appointed Grand Inquisitor for Castile and Lyon. Contestant number one. For Torquemada. Okay. Yes, select again. For five hundred dollars, let's take a look at the answer. It's the leading cotton growing state. Contestant number one. I better get this. What is Texas? Right. Okay. I'll take poets and poetry for a hundred. Or one hundred dollars. Part two of this Coleridge poem ends. Instead of the cross, the albatross was about my necklace hung. Contestant number one. What is the rhyme of the ancient mariner? Yes, that's correct. For two hundred dollars. The line "Good fences make good neighbors" is from his poem "Mending Wall." Contestant number one. Who's Robert Frost? Yes. Uh, let's have folks 
For three hundred dollars. The boathouse in Laugh Laugh where this poet lived in the early nineteen fifties, is now a museum. Contestant number one. Who is Dylan Thomas? Yes. Select. Uh, four hundred, please. For four hundred dollars, here is the clue. This poet's father was treasurer of Amherst College and later a congressman. Contestant number one. Who is Emily Dickinson? Yes. Select again. For five hundred dollars. His poem about daffodils opens, I wandered lonely as a cloud that floats on high or about veils and heels. And hills. Contestant number one. Who is Wordsworth? Right. For one hundred dollars. In recent years, Botswana has overtaken South Africa in the production of these gems. Contestant number or one. Diamonds. Yes, that's correct. Two hundred. For two hundred dollars. As a British mandate in the Emirate, Jordan was known by this longer name. Contestant number one. What is trans Jordan? Yes. Select. For three hundred dollars. Including fjords and peninsulas, this country has over thirteen thousand miles of coastline. Contestant number one. What is Norway? Yes. Select. For four hundred dollars. The answer there is... This largest Brazilian city has the largest Japanese community outside of Japan. Contestant number one. Sao Paulo. Correct. Now last clip. For five hundred dollars. The answer there is... Answer. This landlocked country is South America's largest exporter of electricity. Contestant number one. What is Paraguay? In which there's only two landlocked countries in South America. One is Paraguay, the other is Bolivia. Okay. Double Jeopardy. Yes, that's correct. Here we go. Now for the double Jeopardy round, with two daily doubles somewhere on the board in these categories. All right, let's see what we have for Double Jeopardy. We have USA, Awards, Sculpture, Travel and Tourism, Snakes, and finally, Red. Contestant number three. All right. For two hundred dollars. Just say two hundred. It's the largest city in Maine and Oregon. Contestant number one. What is Portland? You'll have sixty seconds. 
to provide your response. Right. Okay. Uh, you said 400. For 400 dollars. In Washington State, the 90 mile long Wonderland Trail encircles this mountain. Contestant number one. What is Mount Rainier? Good job. Uh, you'll save 600, please. For $600. The Hudson River rises in this mountain range, which is often compared, considered to be part of the Appalachians. Contestant number one. What are the Adirondacks? Yes. Select again. Uh, you'll save 300, please. For eight hundred dollars, the answer there is. Answer there. Mantillo, seat of North Carolina's Dare County, is on this island. Contestant number one. What is Roanoke? Yes, that's correct. Uh, For a thousand dollars. Punch Bowl, an extinct volcano in this capital city, contains a national cemetery. Contestant number one. What is Honolulu? Yes. Okay. Select again. Uh, let's have a word for two hundred, please. For two hundred dollars. The top prize at this city's film festival is the Golden Lion, not the Golden Gondola. Contestant number one. What is Venice? Right. Uh, let's have a four four, please. For four hundred dollars. If a newspaper wins a Pulitzer for meritorious public service, it gets a gold one of these. Contestant number one. What is a medal? Yes. Select again. Uh, where's your sister, please? It's a daily double. Oh, uh, let's go all in. What would you like to wager? Oh, boy. The answer is... The third person to win a Tony in this category was Jerome Robbins for high-button shoes. What is choreography? Yeah, baby! Yes, that's correct. Uh, Ward's Greenhorn, please. For $800. Washington, D.C.'s theater awards are named for this first lady, not for a president's wife. Contestant number one. Uh, who's Hal Hayes? Correct. Uh, what's up, Ward's Greenhorn, please? For a thousand dollars, let's take a look at the answer. She and Louis Prima won the 1958 Best Pop Duo Grammy for that old black magic. Contestant number one. Keely Smith. Whoa, Nelly. Yes, select again. Uh, let's have a record Jordan, please. For two hundred dollars. The name of this cosmetic that can turn your cheeks red when red red means red. Contestant number one. What is rouge? Yes. Select. Uh, red for four, please. For four hundred dollars. The shade precedes letter, pivotal, and fever. Contestant number one. Scarlet.
Yes, that's correct. Uh, separate the sixer, please. For six hundred dollars, the answer there is. A sanguine, brutalent, or viridian, the one that doesn't describe something red. Contestant number one. What is viridian? Yes. Uh, so break, break, please. For eight hundred dollars. The female of this state bird of seven states is only red on its crest, wings, and tail. Contestant number one. What is uh, what's a cardinal? Yes. That's correct. Uh, for a thousand, please. For a thousand dollars. This die was originally obtained from the Kermes insect. Contestant number one. What's Crimson? Right. Okay. Uh, let's go to for turn, please. For two hundred dollars. Here is the clue. Prehistoric sculpture of a bison licking itself was found in this country's cave of La Madeleine. Contestant number one. What is France? Yes. Select again. Uh, let's look for four, please. It's a daily double. Let's go on again. What would you like to wager? Uh oh, here we go. This Rodin sculpture could be called the Osculation. What is the kiss? Whoa, baby. Yes, I'm that's correct. With the house is money. For six hundred dollars. After Degas' death, many of the statues he modeled in clay or wax were cast in this alloy. Contestant number one. What's bronze? Right. Uh, let's go to the printer, please. For eight hundred dollars, the answer is. These those darn Etruscans were noted for their supine terracotta figures on the lids of these. <laughs> Contestant number one. What are coffins? Yes, that's correct. For a thousand dollars, the answer there is. There are eight colossal statues of Ramses II like carved out of a sandstone cliff at this Egyptian site. Contestant number one. What is Abu Simbel? Correct. Oh, let's have uh, snakes for a hundred, please. For two hundred dollars. Ranging from Burma to the East Indies, this cobra is the longest of all snakes. Contestant number one. <coughs> Excuse me. What's a king cobra? Good job. Uh, six quarter, please. For four hundred dollars. The horned rattlesnake is also known by this name, which describes its movement across the sand. Contestant number one. What is a sidewinder? Yes, that's correct. Uh, snakes for six hundred, please. For six hundred dollars. Found in Southeast Asia, the longest snake on record was a 32 foot, 9.5 inch reticulated one of these. Contestant number one. What's a python? Yes, that's correct. Uh, let's have snakes right now, please. For $800.
Here is the clue. The east species of this U.S. snake has broad black and red bands separated by narrow yellow ones. Contestant number one. It's a coral snake. Yes, select again. Uh, snakes for a thousand, please. For a thousand dollars. The heaviest of all snakes, this giant boa of South America is the only aquatic boa. Contestant number one. What is an anaconda? Also, the name of an awful movie, too. Good job. Okay. All that's left is travel to tourism. Uh, tour, please. For $200. With over 1,700 steps, it's quicker to take the elevator to the top of this Paris landmark. Contestant number one. What's the Eiffel Tower? Yes. Select. Uh, order, please. Oops. For four hundred dollars. To see a colony of wild Barbary apes, just take a cable car that goes to the top of this rock. Contestant number one. Uh, what is uh, the Rock of Gibraltar? Yes. Select again. Uh, six hundred, please. For six hundred dollars, the answer there is. While in this country, you might want to attend a performance at the Royal Flemish Opera. Contestant number one. Was Belgium. Yes. Select again. Eight hundred. For eight hundred dollars, answer. One travel guide advises if you can only visit one of this country's islands, make sure it's Bali. Contestant number one. What is Indonesia? Correct. Last clue. For a thousand dollars. Here is the clue. The world's oldest existing zoo is on the grounds of Sean Broom Palace near this city. Contestant number one. Uh, I believe it is in... What is Vienna? Vienna, Austria. Yes. Yep. That's correct. Now on to Final Jeopardy. We're back for Final Jeopardy, and the Final Jeopardy category for today is... We're dealing with Australia, okay. Contestant number one. Well, let's see. Contestant number one, we'll what would you like to wager? Just so I have some money left over, I'm going to try for $76,200. That way, if I'm wrong, I still have 1000 The final Jeopardy clue is... The You'll have 60 seconds to provide your response. Good luck.
contestant number two. Contestant number two. How much would you like to bet? So I'm going to end up with $1,000 this game, but that's okay. But I still win. The final Jeopardy clue is you'll have 60 seconds to provide your response. Good luck. No, oh, she can't come up with either one. I only came up with Queensland, but I can't come up with the other. Contestant number three. Will not be a, uh, she can't, she has no winning, so. Contestant number two, we'll start with you. Your final Jeopardy response was... Nothing. Oh, sorry. That's not right. Aww. Like I said, I was only able to come up with one. And your final Jeopardy wager was... Your total? You dropped down to $160. Contestant number one. Let's see what your response was. I only got Queensland, but I can't come up with the other one. Oh, I'm sorry. That's wrong. And your final Jeopardy wager was your total? $1,000. That's a big drop. Queensland was one, Victoria was the other. Contestant number oh, well. one, you are so now the reigning Jeopardy everybody. champion. Congratulations. Thank <laughs> you.